These are five promises, five things that we can hold on to. The first one, that God is for me. Romans 8, 31 and 32. What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Number two, that God is with me and he is helping me. Hebrews 13, five and six. Let your conduct be without covetousness. Be content with such things as you have. For he himself has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. So we may boldly say, the Lord is my helper. I will not fear what can man do to me. Here's the third one. That sin and sickness will not rule me. First Peter, who himself bore our sins in his own body on the tree, that we having died to sins might live for righteousness, by whose stripes you were healed. Number four, that I can sow seeds and I can reap a harvest. 2 Corinthians 9, 6 through 8. But this I say, he who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly. He who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. So let each one give as he purposes in his heart, not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loves a cheerful giver. And God's able to make all grace abound towards you, that you always having all sufficiency in all things may have an abundance for every good work. Number five, that I am not afraid. 2 Timothy 1, 7, for God's not given me a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. 